to show you uh, what happens when the water's taken out of us. Now, this is a clip from uh, the first Batman film, okay, where the evil penguin is going to dehydrate some pirates. You'll feel nothing. So he's got his total dehydrator. I am merely going to temporarily extract every bit of moisture from your body. <laughs> and these are the guinea pigs. There's the water. Dehydrated. Now, I don't know if you've spotted it, but there are a couple of errors in that. <laughs> well, the first of them, as I'm sure you noticed, is, of course, that actually we've got much more water in our bodies than was taken out there. So, for instance, in me, I would have enough water in me to fill all of this up, all of this one, and all of that container. Okay, so there's an awful lot of water inside us. Well, that's the first point. The second point is what's left. There's just this little pile of dust. Well, actually, there's a bit more in us than, than just that. If you carefully removed all the water from a human, what you'd get left is this. Yeah, quite. Ugh. Um, this is a mummy that's been preserved. It's thousands of years old, and it's been preserved because all the water has been taken out of this in the very dry conditions where uh, the body was kept. The water was taken out, and much like the banana, this stopped, slowed down the chemical reactions that would normally take place to allow the, uh, the tissue to decompose, and this is how it's lasted thousands of years.